Thank you. Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechViews Nelp and today we are going to get into the Python shell. Now as far as this video goes, it's a real quick video, but um, in a past video I showed you how to set up the Python on Windows, how to put the path with the system and command prompt or in the control panel, how to get to the Python and when you go to command prompt it will show python we're going to get more into that into this video now this does apply to other operating systems of course with other operating systems you don't have command prompt you got something else and they all had their own flavors so if you know about this and great if, if you don't if you don't know about the functions variables and all that stuff check out the previous videos the uh, link will be up towards the top on the previous video if you know about this and just want to skip ahead then a card will be up top and that will take you to the next one if that was not shown then that means that that video is not out yet and keep in mind these videos come out once twice a week depending on my schedule and feel free to check that when it comes out but anyways so we got the python stuff set up the path set up and we're just going to go in and play again we go to control panel and do python so right here we should see something like this now i want to get out of it i can do exit or i can do quit it's fine so now that you know how to get out of it or you can just close the command prompt altogether some things have a control z some other stuff but they all have exit or quit command so with this what is the most important thing to note with the python shell it is simply that this doesn't save it's important to note that you can write your code out get things working to a point but when you close it and come back it doesn't save it so i can do a two plus two sorry about that four close it out and as you see here it didn't save it same, is, same thing with variables and other things it would be better if I showed you variable but the same thing still applies there so with that one in mind don't use this to write your actual code use this to test your code or, or to do a quick thing that you don't want to save or don't need to save so with this what we're going to do is we're going to do a simple print string and does that but let's say if we didn't know what print is we can do help we can see more information about that we can do help print oops and by pressing up it um, does a previous command and you can see here that we got the print so it's very important to note that there is a help menu it can show you some of the stuff and if you put in the uh, say for example again the print it will show you all the stuff it does same thing with other stuff we can put in there it's very important to realize the help is there now with that one in mind that's pretty much all i gotta show in this video again you won't use this as a saving technique you use it as a testing technique now with saving i would use notepad plus plus and uh, just get into that real quick in fact um i'll i'll, I'll reiterate later but you, what you would do is you would make a text document um, a dot txt for windows and 
you will just write your code into there. So it'd be a notepad or notepad plus plus, and you can write your code in there. There's also a way to write your code into the uh, Python itself, but it, most people prefer notepad plus plus because it's a lot easier to deal with. And, um, and, and for the most part has more functions like a normal workstation would. But anyways, with that one in mind, Feel free to uh, to let me know what you think down below on how these videos are doing. And uh, leave a like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you next video. And have a good day.